You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, CBS Soap Opera fans. This is Soap Dirt on YouTube, and we have got your Young and the Restless daily spoilers for the week of May 8th through 12th. We're going to break it down for you, everything happening every single day. There's a whole lot to see, a whole lot to unpack, traction, and all your major storylines as we head deeper into May sweeps on your favorite CBS Soap Opera. If you haven't already, reach down now, click that subscribe button so you don't miss any of your YNR spoilers, casting news, and other updates that you need for your favorite soap opera. On Monday, May 8th on YNR is season 50, episode 152. Malcolm Winters is back in Genoa City. Yes, we have more of Shamar Moore. However, he's going to be in and out, blink and miss him, but he is there for the dedication of his brother's jazz lounge. They are honoring four years of Neil Winters being gone, and Devon makes a big announcement that day, and he has decided to change his last name from Hamilton over to Winters which is very exciting. He wants to emulate the man who raised him. There is also scenes where Daniel is tormented because now that he knows that his mom is alive and Summer is lying, he's eaten up about it. He questions how Summer can even think that this is okay. So we have scenes of him and Lily, but he doesn't spill the beans to her. We also see Diane happily at home. But what's really nasty on Monday, honestly, is Summer comes home to find that Diane has made bail And she acts outraged. She knows that Diane didn't know what she was accused of, yet she's doubling down on her mother's scheme by crapping on her in front of Kyle. It's just a mess. This is all going to come back to bite her, and it's all down to her mom. But more on that later. Let's dig in to what goes on on Young and the Restless on Tuesday, May 9th. It's season 50, episode 153, and we see Elena Dawson making a bold move. On Monday, Monday, Nate is back in Genoa City and he's making excuses for why he showed up at the Jazz Lounge dedication without Elena. He makes it sound like they are still together. He's not telling anyone that he got dumped and he makes an excuse for why he's checking into the GCAC to get a room for the night. He says he's jet lagged and tired. So on Tuesday, Elena is back and it's going to be curious what her bold move is. Her last move was to contact JT Hellstrom, but he refused to come back to Genoa City or to have anything to do with this situation. He's very stressed. So it doesn't look like we're going to have scenes with Tad Luck and Bill Pass this, but you never know. And I'm also wondering if Elena is going to make a beeline to have some things to say to Victoria Newman about sleeping with her boyfriend. All we know, though, from the official spoilers is that she makes a bold move. That same day, Summer Newman gets stubborn with Kyle Abbott. And again, we're back to the fact that Summer knows his mother was falsely arrested because of her mother's lies. But rather than coming clean and trying to salvage things, She has drunk the Kool-Aid and is now actively shielding her mother and her lies. This is going to get messy. We are also going to see on Tuesday Jack Abbott defending himself to Ashley Abbott. The siblings are at odds and things are getting bad. Ashley keeps crapping on Diane, keeps saying that she's a killer. And of course, Summer could clear all this up, but she's not. And then Jack is snarking at Ashley because she's moved Tucker into the house. But at least he's living out in the pool house. Ironically, that's the pool house that Diane set on fire years ago and tried to blame on Phyllis. A little bit of fun, Young and the Restless history. Also on Tuesday, watch out for Young and the Restless preemptions in the Western time zone for soccer coverage. They are promising to air the episode in the wee hours of the morning, and you can also see it on CBS.com or Paramount, but you may want to check your listings, see if it shows you what time, see if what your DVR is saying, check your cable listings, and that way you can set a manual recording so you don't miss your Tuesday episode of Young and the Restless in that Western time zone. Then it's midweek on YNR Wednesday, May 10th, episode 154 of Young and the Restless season 50. Nikki Newman presses Victoria Newman for the truth. Nikki, of course, knows that Vicky and Nate went out of town together. Maybe Elena is making a stink 
and that's why Nikki is asking questions, but clearly things are bad, and Nikki's not going to be really happy to find out that her daughter is having sex with someone who works at the company. Messy, messy, messy. That same day, Victor Newman completely loses it with his eldest son, Nick Newman. We have to assume, and of course, this is not part of the official spoiler. I'm speculating here, but we have to assume that Nick is confronting Victor for trying to buy Sally's baby, offering to invest in her business if she'll leave her child is tantamount to offering to buy her baby. Nick is not happy about this. He is trying to protect Sally Spectra, and he's not going to like this at all. And when he comes at his dad, his dad is going to go off. This is another thing that's going to be really messy. Also, Adam and Chelsea sort out something. It's not clear what they're sorting out because they just told Connor Newman that he's going to have a baby sister and explained that Sally Sally is having a baby. These two are co-parenting beautifully. They explained things to their son beautifully. So we'll have to see what they're sorting out. Adam's starting the new job. He wants Sally to come work for him. Victor actually wanted Nick to work over there with him. We speculated in another Young the Restless video that we put out this week. Check our why in our playlist. You can see it. We're wondering if Nick is also going to change his mind, leave Newman Enterprises, and come to work at the company that Victor Victor bought from Tucker so that he can keep an eye on Adam and Sally. Also on Wednesday, there's another soccer preemption in the Western time zone. Again, check your cable listing, set a manual listing if you need to, or make sure you have a log on to Paramount or CBS.com so that you won't miss your Young and the Restless episode because of soccer. Then it's Thursday, May 11th on Young and the Restless, season 50, episode 155. Someone sends Jack a cryptic message is what the official YNR spoiler from CBS says. I have two theories on this. One, it could be Daniel Romilotti trying to let Jack know that Diane is innocent, which of course he assumes, but to confirm for him that Diane is innocent and maybe hint that Phyllis is alive. That's theory number one. My second theory is that it could be Phyllis Summers herself sending Jack a cryptic message as part of whatever devious plan she's come up with to try and get away with this, which I assume might be something like letting Diane and her ex-boyfriend be blamed for all of this. Because as we know, Jeremy Stark is dead, and so she can blame anything she wants on him. So Diane's (laughs) ex-boyfriend... Phyllis Summer's dead husband. Uh, Maybe this is about that scheme. Also on Thursday, Diane gets a proposition that tempts her. It's not clear if this is work-related. She can't really work. She has an ankle monitor on her to make sure she doesn't skip bail. So we wonder if this is about Jack trying to get her to go ahead and marry him before all this sorts out. She had told him to forget about her. He won't. He insists on marrying her. And now that she's home, maybe he wants to make Make that happen ASAP. Also on Thursday, Adam aggravates Nick and pushes his buttons. We have to suspect this might be something about Adam trying to get Sally to come to work for him. And Nick may insist that he also get a job or else she can't come. The dynamic between them heats up even more in May sweeps, according to the official spoilers. Then it's Friday, May 12th on Young and the Restless, season 50, episode 156. We see Daniel Romilotti struggling with an ethical dilemma. The fact that this spoiler comes a day after Jack getting the cryptic message was what had me thinking perhaps Daniel leaves him a note. It is eating him up. He wants Summer to come clean because she's the one who saw Phyllis and got her full confession. He heard about it secondhand, but he pressed Summer to do the right thing, even if that means their mom is going to be arrested because he wants this all out in the open. It's eating him up and he's really struggling with it. And so we expect the following week, the week of May 15th that he may crumble and rat out his mom if his mom has not come clean by then. That same day, Michael Baldwin has a breakthrough in Diane's defense. Remember, he wanted investigations done on Stark's finances, and he was willing to play shady to make it happen. Of course, he operates in gray areas for Victor Newman, so he may operate in gray areas to help Diane. So perhaps he gets a breakthrough in the matter 
matter of finding out about Stark's finances or another lead on him that will further convince him, which he's three quarters convinced already, but it may completely convince him that Stark is the one responsible and not Diane. Of course, he still has no inkling that his friend is still alive. If you haven't already, reach down, click that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our Young and the Restless spoilers update, casting news, everything that you need to know about your favorite CBS soap opera. There is so much to see as we head into the second full week of May sweeps on Young and the Restless, and it doesn't seem like it's going to be too long before Daniel cracks and Summer's life is going to implode because she is carrying on with her mother's lies. This is going to get so much messier, and we expect major explosions in May sweeps on YNR. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcast, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more.